we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose, for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. I think here we find the link between suffering and glory. What is glory but the capacity to reveal the character of God? The Bible tells us that through the rending of the veil, we see the glory. That that the death of the Lord Jesus in the rending of the veil, that is to say his flesh, we have access into the holiest, into the presence of the Shekinah, into the very home of God. The suffering is the means by which God changes us to be godly, changes us to reflect, to reveal the character of God. No suffering is ever lost. Because that suffering, according to our passage here, has been carefully selected to accomplish one end. Notice the word purpose is singular. According to his purpose. He has one supreme purpose for you. And that is to be like his son. He can't think of anything better to do for you than to make you like Jesus. And so this is the link between suffering and glory. Suffering is that wrenching of the life to open a way for the glory to shine out.